Hello everyone and welcome to Olga's Primary Maths. In this video we're going to learn all about volume. Oh, not this type of volume. Let's turn it down. The volume we are going to learn about is the volume of a 3D shape. That's a 3D shape. A cuboid. Three dimensional shape. Do you know what 3D stands for? D is a dimension and the three dimensions of our world are height or length, width, how wide something is, and depth, how deep something is. So if you see this tin, well we'll call it a cuboid because it's a cuboid shape. It has a height or you can call it a length sometimes or how tall something is it has a width so how wide it is and it has a depth how deep it is it doesn't really ma matter which way around because sometimes you can measure depths as like this yeah so it doesn't really matter which way around but it's got three dimensions height width and depth this is a 3D shape. 2D shape, two dimensional shapes are flat shapes. They only have two dimensions. So they have lengths and widths. They're flat shapes. We live in a three dimensional world. And today we are going to calculate volume of a three dimensional shape. And this book is also a 3D shape. So if you look at it, it's a cuboid. What has it got? It's got height, width, and depth. How deep the book is, yeah? So let's have a look how we measure a volume of a three-dimensional shape. Volume of a three-dimensional shape is all the space inside of the shape. All of the space inside of the shape. It's quite often, compared. well, it goes together with capacity. Capacity is just to do with containers, space inside the containers. But a uh, volume, it could be a space in any three-dimensional shape. As you can see, this box is a cuboid and we can measure its volume. The space inside the box. Oh, what's inside the box? Tea bags. All that space inside this three dimensional shape, inside the cuboid, is called a volume. So, this is how volume is measured. To measure the volume, you need to know the length of the shape, you need to know the height of the shape, and the depth of the shape. Volume is measured by multiplying the height, or we can call it the length of the shape, by the width of the shape, and then by the depth of the shape. So this is a cuboid. If its height or length is 7 centimeters, its width 5 centimeters, and its depth, 3 centimeters. If we multiply them together, we are going to get 105 centimeters cubed. It's very important to have cubed centimeters because the space inside the shape is measured with little cubes. So when we put the centimeters or millimeters or meters, we always have little 3 there, meaning cubed. So let's have a look. This is a cube. I drew it, so it doesn't really look very cubey. It's a bit cuboidy, isn't it? But it's supposed to be a cube. And cube, what do we know about a cube? Cube is like a 3D square. So all of the edges are the same lengths. So our width is the same length as our height. 
is the same length as our depth. So to work out the volume of the cube, we only need to know the size of one edge because all the other ones are going to be the same size. So volume of the cube is six cubes, so six centimeters times six centimeters times six centimeters, and it's going to be 216 centimeters cubed. This is a cuboid, yeah? The volume of the cuboid, do we know its length? That's the length. How long it is? Yeah, we do. Nine centimeters. Do we know its, uh, well, what would you call it? Height. Yeah, okay, height. Three centimeters. And its depth, four centimeters. Can you see, in this case, I'm calling this length. I didn't call it width. You can call it width if you want. It doesn't really matter. But as long as you multiply all three dimensions, can you see? The easiest way to do it is to go from a corner. From one corner, you will see all the three dimensions. This dimension, that dimension, and this dimension. And it doesn't even matter what you call them. So to work out the volume of a 3D shape, cuboid shape, you multiply all its three dimensions by each other. Now in year six you're supposed to have all this prior knowledge about how to work out a volume of a 3D shape. In your reasoning SATS paper they're not actually going to ask or oh, just find the volume of a certain shape. The word problems are going to be more complicated so, so they might be two or three steps at word problems. So let's have a look at some examples. This one, for example. Cube A, so we know it's a cube, and cuboid B have the same volume. So the space inside them is the same amount of space. The same amount of little tiny cubes inside them. It says calculate the missing length on cuboid B. Because in the cuboid B, we know its height, we know its depth, but we don't know its length. Right, well, let's see how we're going to work it out. In maths, I keep saying it over and over again, everything is supposed to make sense. Right, so if we are not given this side, is there any way we can work it out? Well, what do we know? Why do you think we're given this cube? What do we know about these two shapes? Well, we know that their volume is the same. So volume of this shape of the cube is the same as the volume of the cuboid. Right, do we know the volume of the cube? Well, we don't know it yet, but we can work it out. Can we work it out? Do we know all of the three dimensions? Think about it, even though only one side is given, can we still work it out? Yes, we can, because what do we know? We know that in the cube, all of the edges are the same lengths. So all the three dimensions, the width, the height, and the depth are going to be six centimeters. So we can work out the volume of the cube. Six times six times six. Yeah? What are we going to get? 36 times six, if you can't do it in your head. Do it as a column. Multiplication. Six times six, 36. We carry the three. Three times six, 18. And you carry the three. 216 centimeters cubed. So the volume of the cube is going to be 216 centimeters cubed. Okay, right. Now, our volume of the cuboid needs to be the same. It also needs to be 216 centimeters cubed. Okay, right. But do we need all these calculations? Maybe not, maybe not. But let's have a look. What do we know about what dimensions, what measurements have we got of a cuboid? We've got six centimeters 
it's what what shall we call it depth yeah what else do we have for centimeters and one of them one of the dimensions is missing right so this side should be 216 and this side should be 216 but let's have a look what we've already know we know that look at this on this side we've got six centimeters and six centimeters yeah the same what do we have on this side six times six what's that 36 yeah so four times something should be 36 what is that something four times what is 36 oh four times nine is 36 okay have we worked it out correctly we have six times 36 have a look is the same as six times 36 if you don't believe me what you can do we know that the volume of our cuboid is 216 centimeters yeah you can just divide it by 24 by the dimensions that we already know but it's a long-winded way you will get 9 eventually yeah I'm not going to show you the process trust me but always look for easier ways to find your answer the way I showed you is so much easier than to divide 216 by 24 we're just looking at this yeah equation this side of the equation of the equal side should be the same in value as this side of the equation of the equal side so we already have six on this side six on this side we need to times uh, multiply our six by 36 we know this is 36 that means we need to multiply our six by 36 on this side so how do we make 36 out of four and what four times nine there you go nine is nine centimeters is our missing length this is another type of question you might have in your reasoning paper to do with knowing what a volume is. They're asking here, what is the volume of the cube? But what are they not giving you straight away? Are they actually giving you all the dimensions straight away? No. What they give you here is the net of the cube. Net is like a flattened out shape. So it's like a cube flattened out. So if you cut it out, you can make a cube eventually yeah and what else do they give us they give us information about this length but is it a length of a cube or what is it it's actually a length of this net yeah so let's have a look this is going to be at edge one edge of the cube yeah so how many sides of the cube are here four yeah one two three four and all of them are 20 centimeters so how long is one edge if we know all of this is 20 centimeters and there's four equal ones what we do we take 20 and divide it by four 20 divided by four Is going to be five so now we know that the edge of the cuboid is five centimeters there's five everywhere yeah and this that's the only dimension we need to know because all three of them are going to be five so how do we work out the volume of cuboid five volume times five times five so 5 times 5 is 25 multiplied by 5 I can do it in my head but if you can't do it as a column multiplication and don't forget your centimeters cubed 
because there are we are measuring the space inside the shape and there are tiny little we're measuring uh, the space with tiny little cubes well centimeters cubed in this case okay i hope this was helpful for you